What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through a few of the top trends for 2019. Welcome back to my channel everyone, my name is Dylan in case this is your first time visiting and if this is your first time visiting don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Now in this video I'm going to talk you through some of the top fashion trends for men in 2019 so that you can be ahead of the game and you can get your wardrobe sorted ASAP. Now the first thing I'm going to say before I dive into the trends is that just because they ha there are trends, it doesn't mean you have to copy them. Everyone should have their own unique style and have their own way of expressing themselves. That's what makes fashion so amazing. Trends are just something that I think it's good to be aware of because it means that you're gonna see a lot of this stuff in the stores. And also you might see a trend that you really love and something that you do wanna copy. So that's the reason I'm gonna take you guys through them. So the first trend that I'm gonna talk about is crossbody bags slash bum bags. Now I remember back in the day people used to wear bum bags or even if you watch movies like I watch some American movies and people are wearing bum bags and the guy that's wearing the bum bag is also always getting abused like he's getting ripped to shreds for wearing his bum bag and it's like a it was like a not very cool thing to do back then but now they're super popular and they're really on trend like if you go on Instagram you see them everywhere like everyone's wearing bum bags but then everyone wears them usually as a crossbody bag which I think looks pretty cool and it's actually something I've done in one of my recent outfits from New York so when you go to all your high street stores you going to see everyone stocking these crossbody bags and some of them actually look really dope and when you match them really well with your outfit it looks amazing it just helps to give that extra little bit of detail and extra bit of layering to your outfit which takes it to a whole nother level and on the plus side if your girlfriend's got her purse it means she doesn't have to carry all your stuff because you can put it in your crossbody bag now another huge trend for this year on the runways was the return of suiting and elegant looks now when i talk about suiting i basically mean suits so you got your suits your double-breasted suits oversized suits, all different types of suits, wide leg trousers and tons of different colours too and this was a big trend in fashion weeks this year so you had people like Comme des Garçons, you had Canali and even Virgil at Louis Vuitton was also had a lot of suits in his runway shows this is something I actually really like because suiting I think is timeless and there's like tons of different ways you can wear a suit I actually did a video last week on four different ways to style one suit and there's like so many different ways you can wear them in like a street style you can wear them super smart in your traditional way but there's just like loads of different ways to do it and you should just be fun with it and be creative with it whatever you want to do however you want to express yourself you should do that a suit doesn't always have to be that classy and sophisticated super rigid type of look you can just style it however you feel so another big trend this year was the color green or sage at a lot of runway shows so this color features so many on a lot of runway shows and it's like a more of an earthy tone and a really like a sagey green type color d squared had like a lot of pieces in this tone and it's something just to keep an eye out for the summer you'll probably see a lot of stuff in high, high street stores in this color and it's actually a really nice color to have for summer it's a really um earthy tone which i love earthy tones and layering it up and getting it like get different tones of it match them together and you're just going to create some really cool outfits with this color another huge trend for this year and what this is one probably one of my favorite trends is wraparound tailoring by wraparound tailoring i mean so you've got your suited outfits your tailored outfits but then you have like a kimono type thing with like a belt around the outside now when you put these outfits they look so classy but they look really like there's something different to them as well I actually had one of these blazers maybe like a year or two ago. I'll try and find the picture and link it up here above. But these like blazers, once you wrap that belt around the waist and just gives you that extra tailored look, it just looks incredible. So Dolce & Gabbana, Mason Margiela, they all featured these wraparound tailoring type of outfits on their runway shows and the outfits look um, incredible. I'm just hoping that more high street stores become a part of this trend so that we can have wraparound tailoring for a more affordable. Another big trend carrying on this year, which was also on trend last year, is bold prints and patterns. Now bold prints were really really on trend last year a lot of my summer outfits featured bold prints i absolutely love them and i love styling them with like plainer clothes because it really helps that bold print to stand out but one of the other big trends this year is bold prints and patterns but clashing patterns and cl clashing bold prints personally it's not something i'm a huge fan of i find it quite difficult to mix like different patterns together and make them look good but it's now all about making patterns that clash and basically just mixing all different types of patterns together. Personally, right now, not a big fan of it, but never know by the end of the year, maybe I'll become a fan of it like I did with the crossbody bags. But if you are looking to mix patterns and stuff and you want to do it in a much simpler way, what I tend to do is just find bold prints and bold patterns and mix them with plain clothes. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about sneakers. So sneaker trends for this year, you've got the carrying on, you've got just the basic trends from last year, you've got the sock sneakers, 
So you had like the Balenciaga sock sneakers which was super popular and I think you're going to see a lot more of those type of sneakers this year. I think Adidas already did some and basically all brands are going to get in on this sock sneaker vibe. Another big sneaker vibe which was happening last year and is going to continue this year is the dad sneakers slash ugly sneakers, whatever you want to call them. So there's really bulky and like dad ugly looking sneakers. They were so on trend and a lot of the big designers jumped on that trend and continued it into this year and now you're getting like Alexander McQueen, Balenciaga, all these people designing these dad ugly sneakers and they're super popular. It's got my Instagram and I see nearly everyone wearing these sneakers. So that's going to be another big trend again this year for sneakers and these like higher end designer brands are charging a lot of money for these sneakers and they do look dope but the problem is everyone's getting them now so that you need to try and find some maybe that not everyone has or find different colorways and stuff so that you also look more unique another big trend for this year is hiking sandals once again this is another one of the trends that i'm not too sure about but maybe I'll come around to it so hiking sandals you'll see them like on the runways a lot people wearing hiking sandals with all types of clothing and all types of outfits basically they're just like your big open sandals with like the big leather straps on they they don't they do look pretty cool but the way that people are styling them i'm not too sure about like people wearing them with suits and stuff like that it'll be interesting to see how fellow instagrammers decide to style this trend this year whether anyone's getting on the hiking sandal vibe and what type of outfits they're going to create so that brings us to the end of this video i hope you all found it useful and whether you're going to stick to the trends or whether you're going to do your own thing it's always important to keep the trends in the back of your mind just in case it might give you a little bit of inspiration and you might want to tweak your outfits just a little bit to to match some of the trends. Now I didn't take you guys through all of the trends because obviously there's loads of them. I only took you through a few which I thought you guys would find useful. If there's any other trends that you think you'd like to share with everyone, just leave them down in the comments below so that anyone watching this video can find them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. But until next week, that's all from this video. Peace!